What's up guys, you are watching Tuck TV and today we're here to talk about my acoustic guitar, the Cot 8880CE. <laughs> If you like that tune, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. That is an own composition that was done on this guitar. Hit that subscribe button with the bell icon. It enables us to do more videos like this. So this of course is my Cot 8880CE uh, acoustic guitar. I picked this up from the used market about six months ago. Uh, at the time it was retailing for about 15,000 rupees. I picked it up for 10,000 uh, which included the guitar itself, a soft case for it and this Dunlop cleaning system which is pretty cool because that's kind of expensive on its own. I've got to highlight that the used market uh, of recent times especially on the social media like Facebook uh, has become quite the place to get good instruments at great prices. So if you're in the market for an instrument be sure to check out the classifieds, the used market and the social media. So this guitar of course comes in the natural satin finish which essentially is a spruce top uh, with a matte finish so that it doesn't leave any fingerprints. Uh, the rest of the specifications are up here for you to see. There's also a link in the description below. Also a disclaimer, this is not a paid or a sponsored review. I have bought this guitar on my own accord and money. Uh, and uh, but there is no right or wrong in what we're about to discuss. It's purely my perspective on what I think about this. Props to the guy who had this guitar before me because he has kept it in extremely good condition. This isn't my first acoustic guitar. I Initially, when I started learning, I had a Gibson, not Gibson, but a Gibson, which is a local make you get over here, uh, on which I had learnt, um, you know, most of my guitar playing. After which, you know, that had gotten warped because I didn't keep it well. So I moved on to have a Pluto acoustic guitar uh, for quite some time. And uh, since we moved on to electric guitar, I sort of held on to that. But of course, over time, I decided to get a good acoustic guitar because firstly, a man, a guitarist should have an acoustic guitar. It is an extremely good and important platform to get your practice and playing right. And sometimes it's all about just being unplugged. I personally like playing a lot of finger picking classical style. I'm not the biggest fan of a nylon string guitar because the frets are a little more spaced. And since I'm used to this and switching over to uh, electric guitars and all that, I feel kind of comfortable playing it on steel string. 
Also the sense and feel that you get uh, playing a steel string is very different from a nylon string guitar. Nylon strings are great, no doubt, it's just that my preference is with steel strings. I was in the market for various guitars, I was looking at uh, some Yamahas, I was looking at a couple of Fenders. This happened to happen on the online classifieds and you know the two good reasons why I got it. Good guitar, good price. Coming to what I like about this guitar, this has got a mahogany body and a mahogany neck. Uh, which means you get an extremely rich and dense tone out of it. Now there are enough videos on YouTube which sort of dissect, break down and discuss tone woods as such. But to keep it short, the lighter the wood, the brighter the tone. And the denser the wood, the warmer or richer the tone. Where this fit the bill was, despite being an all mahogany body, it was not too warm. It was sort of right in the middle. It gives just the right amount of density. Uh, and it's still got a good ring to it. I'm not sure if you can see it here. I'll put in a picture. Uh, this guitar has a binding on the neck and on the body. Uh, I'm pretty sure that adds to the tone and it also gives this guitar a premium finish and feel to it. This guitar also has a stock tuner and pickup inbuilt uh, into this model. Uh, it's also got a cutaway as you can see because I like to reach the frets. And the tuner of course is fairly accurate. It's also got a three band equalizer so you can fine tune your tone. The overall hardware is also pretty good be it the tuning pegs, the pickup, the bridge. I have done a previous video on a court guitar. There's a card up here or a link in the description which you can check out and I don't have an awful lot to complain about. I mean it's not top of the line but for the money you're spending it's pretty good. Now the fretboard in itself is pretty slick. It's extremely smooth and sometimes it feels like an ebony fretboard despite it being rosewood. And of course the overall ergonomics of this guitar, it's comfortable, uh, it's fairly light. So whether you want to keep the guitar like this in the classical style or if you want to keep it on one thigh, this thing is comfortable enough to play either ways. Coming to what I don't like and of course when I say I don't like I'm saying there is scope for improvement or it's probably something that I would change is this pickup itself. The preamp is average at best. I mean it's more than sufficient for practice uh, but when I record on this thing I've noticed that it has this very artificial echoey uh, reverbish sound most of the times uh, and sometimes you want that you know that stock acoustic guitar sound. Um, so that's the problem that I have with this pickup as a result of which sometimes I'd have to resort to a mic. Uh, but this of course is a personal choice. If it matters to you, you can probably pull this out and swap it for a good set of Fishman pickups or something along the lines. But then again, if you're going to buy a guitar around this price range, uh, they're not going to come with Fishman pickups. So it's an upgrade you're going to have to do either ways. Here's a sample of what this guitar sounds like uh, on the pickup uh, vis-a-vis miking it up. That of course is what it sounds like. This is a completely stock guitar. However, keep in mind that I have changed the strings on it. I'm using the DAW EJ15 phosphor bronze strings. So final thoughts, is this a good guitar? Is it worth the money that you're spending on it? Okay, when we're talking the 15,000 range, there are some other options, some of them a little cheaper. For example, the Fender CD60, uh, which is around the nine or 10,000 rupee mark. You also have the Yamaha F370, uh, but that's a completely different guitar. It's got completely different feature sets. The Fender CD60 is way too bright for my liking. Again, the tone, the tone wood matters on acoustic guitars. Uh, so that was too bright and it doesn't come with a pickup. The more equivalent Fender CD60 SCE, I think yeah, that's the model. Uh, that was about 10,000 rupees more than this. That comes into the 24 or 25,000 rupee range. Another great guitar I would have considered had I not stumbled on this is the Yamaha FX310. Uh, it's quite equivalent in terms of, you know, the sound and the tone. Uh, but then again, I got this at a better price. I personally would say if you want a good dense tone, some amount of bells and whistles, all of it packaged into a good price, this is definitely the guitar that you can consider. I've mentioned earlier that I have used other chord guitars. I own other chord guitars. 
uh, and I haven't had any problem with it. My experiences have been good. So this is definitely that you can consider. Anyway, so that's that. What did you think about this video? If you have any thoughts, let me know in the comments below. Uh, give this video a thumbs up if you like what you see. Give me suggestions so that I can change the format accordingly. Subscribe to us because that enables us to make more videos like this. Thanks a lot, guys. I will see you in the next one. And as always, stay metal. We are Dickhead Watch Deep TV. Stay metal. Stay metal. <laughs> oh my god, this is much better than what you imagined. <laughs>